Potty training can feel like such a frustrating process when your puppy continues to have accidents in your home. But in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to teach your puppy to go potty outside, even if you feel like they never like to go when they're out there. I'm Ken Steep, and welcome back to McCann Dogs. At McCann Professional Dog Trainers, we've trained more than 80,000 dogs. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. I think it's really important to read the comments on all of our videos so that I can help you to uh, train through whatever difficulties you might be having. Something that I commonly heard on our potty training videos was that people would have challenges. Their puppy didn't want to go when they were outside or they would let their puppy out in the backyard for 20 minutes bring them back in and then the puppy would immediately eliminate on the floor. Someone even commented, she went to the bathroom on the carpet after I took her outside for a walk. Explain that. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Puppies are so easily distracted by the environment around them, whether it's a sight or a smell or a sound, maybe a leaf blowing by, maybe there's dogs barking in the background. But this can completely make the puppy forget about the fact that they're out there to go potty. They can totally forget that they've actually got to go. Taking advantage of some natural training opportunities with your puppy is a real help. So the first time out of their crate in the morning is a great time to start your potty training. You'll have biology working for you and you'll know that your puppy really likely has to go. Putty training after a fun play session or uh, shortly following a meal are also really great times to know that you're going to invest a little bit of time into your puppy potty training. First things first, anytime that your puppy goes outside it's really important that you go out with them and that you have them on leash. You need to be able to guide the process and help them avoid any distractions but you also need to really know whether they've actually gone or not. So if you're able to try to find an environment with the least amount of distractions whether it's environmental sounds or smells or whatever you can also choose this time to show your puppy exactly where you want them to go potty in the future. So take advantage of this. Because you're out there with your puppy on leash, it's easy to redirect them if they start to get distracted by a vehicle that drives by or some kids playing in the distance. You can just guide them around with your leash. Now, you want to be as boring as possible when you're out there with your puppy. The last thing you want to be doing is engaging them in play or using any sort of exciting language. The other challenge is if you're moving around a lot with your puppy, there's all sorts of interesting smells that they're just discovering now. So try to remain in a small area. Don't move around too much. And that way your puppy will quickly become bored of this the sights and smells and sounds in this little circle you've created and they're more likely to go potty then. It's really important that you give your puppy an appropriate amount of time to go when you're out there. Maybe it's four or five minutes or maybe if they've been really distracted and you, you've been guiding them away from these distractions uh, over and over again, maybe it's six or seven minutes. But it's important that you don't remain out there for 30 minutes. You're going to give your puppy a handful of minutes, let's say, and what's really important is if your puppy doesn't go, what you do next. If your puppy doesn't go, you're going to bring them right back inside and directly into their crate. Be careful that you don't let your puppy sort of meander around the kitchen or, or wherever because that's the opportunity that they may have been looking for to go potty. So they're just going to put them directly back in their crate. You're going to wait a couple of minutes and for those couple of minutes, you're going to keep a close eye on your puppy in that crate. If your puppy has an accident indoors, you're going to be there to supervise them. You can actually mark that moment for them with an oops or a hey and it can interrupt that process entirely. After those couple of minutes are up, you're going to take your puppy out, take them directly outside and then wash, rinse and repeat. Follow the steps that we talked about a little bit earlier in this video and just do it over and over again until your puppy realizes that the only place that's appropriate to go potty is outside. Remember, puppies are going to do whatever it is that they find rewarding. So if they're continuously making mistakes in your home, that's not their mistake. It's actually your mistake. Beside me is a puppy potty training playlist that is full of videos that you're going to find helpful. And if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training. <laughs>